<clears throat> welcome, everybody. Welcome. My name is Rebellions, and this is the next episode of The Last Sovereign. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the hell I wanted to do uh, with this today. I am trying to remember. I, I had a plan. The plan was to check on Sarai and then go straight to Yilin where everything appears to be happening. Why did things have to turn out this way? At the end of the last episode. But I've like forgotten it. I think I've done everything I it, I think I've done everything I need to do here. Right, right, right. No, I know what I wanted to do. Wrong one. Wrong one. What? What? What is this? Simon, there is an additional, though minor, way I can help you. I don't know if the Renthnor Wilds contain anything that'll greatly help you, but I can provide a solid teleportation route. Where, exactly, in the wilds? Are you familiar with the place called the Last Outpost? A small community in the middle of several unexplored regions? Yes, if you need to explore anywhere in the wilds, that's the perfect place to start. I understand you also want access to Phylon, but I fear that I can do little to assist you there. But if we did want to enter without breaking down barriers or harming anyone, we'd need to find someone else who has whose magical access wouldn't have been revoked. I would suggest we begin in the Orgasmic Empire. Perhaps you know someone? As a matter of fact, I know a certain diplomat. I, I got a guy. Hmm. I'm very curious here, but uh, I got a guy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, where is he? Uh, why are you lurking out here? I'm spying on Lexanda. Given everything that's happened, we can't trust Phylon these days. Where is Lexanda? You really think he'd work against the Orgasmic Empire, though? He's a diplomat. Uh, Nalili, he's a foreign dignitary. He likes the Orgasmic Empire, but he is still, like, it, this is a matter of state security. Well, no, I don't think our dear Lexanda would actually do anything bad, but Phylon's been moving lately, and our border with them is so peaceful. You don't think that's a threat? Does the military believe it's a potential threat? That's what I heard, but there's no money for additional security, especially not high-end magical security. What do you think we should do, Nalili? Why don't you and some military officers put together a proposal? Then you can leave Lexanda alone, and maybe the Orgasmic Empire can be safer. You're right. I'll talk to some people. Meet you outside the admin office. Simon, I do not believe this is wise. Phylon has no intention of invading. You can't say that. No offense, but would you know if they were? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where the hell's Lexanda? It was fun having those triplets here during the gathering. I hope they visit again. Okay, I'm not sure what... Okay. The Empress has been saying we might open the Chamber of Appeals again. I'm not sure what's gotten into her. <laughs> Something nice. Okay. And beautify the old... Not yet. That sounds so not important. My friend had to go back home. Hi, we've been led to understand there's a p petition for changing relationship laws that have been stuck for a long time. That. They just don't seem to understand the institutions on which our nation's built. I'm given to understand that it simply isn't possible to have a legally recognized three-way relationship here. The foundation of our society is based on uneven relationships down to the very bedrock. After all, isn't every relationship ultimately unbalanced in some way? Yeah, uh, but... Well, not even a but here. Yeah. I'm not convinced that it should be legally, but we're not discussing pure legal theory here. Yeah, this is practice. Why can't they just all enslave each other in a ring? Ownership daisy chain. Because that relationship conveys important things about them on a legal level. They'd all be labeled as both property and owner. It'd be a mess. 
But isn't everything nested ownership? I thought slaves could have slaves here, or at least possessions. Look, I know who you all are. You can obviously force through whatever you want. We don't want to do that. Ideally, we'd find a new form of relationship that works for the Orgasmic Empire. I'd be happy to provide data from everything that's been tried in our nations. Well, in that case... Done! As expected, it was easy to come up with a good solution. Now the problem's paying to update the bureaucracy. That's not much, so yeah, we'll go ahead with that. Very good. Change won't come immediately, but it's well on the way. You've made the world safer for better threesomes. Hopefully it's a step towards creating a more logical sex empire. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm not going to be judged about because I've wanted to change that for a while. Hello again. Hello, Mr. Human. Nice to see you again. I saw you running around the palace when I was imprisoned here, didn't I? Did I? I don't remember you at all, but that was also a year ago. That's right. That's right. But you have clothes this time. You have a lot of sex friends, Mr. Human. They seem nice. Okay. What are you running around in a tizzy about? Hey! Stop it! <laughs> the Emperor's got more relaxed. Definitely make their jobs easier. <laughs> the hell was that? Alright. We could still use more help, but we're trying to sell pastries on the side. Okay. That I might have to do. Why are people using so much non-sexual energy these days? It really takes away one of the perks of this job. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Maps. What the fuck? did run into you, didn't I? Phylon, Orgasmic Empire, Renthnor, Wilds. There used to be a problem with fucking in the library, but a few stories about paper cuts to... <laughs> Ow. Uh... Can we actually go into Astera's vault? I'm curious. do 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 where the hell's Luxanda? I heard you plundered the Empress's vault. That doesn't give you permission to plunder the stone one. Are you expecting to get in here eventually? You know, this place is going to remain boring. I take that as challenge, Sierra. Okay. So... If Lixanda is not in his room, I am concerned because I have a suspicion about where he is. Wait, did I ever touch this book? Okay. Touch everything. Uh, hello. All the military officers concerned about Phylon have put together a proposal to increase our border defenses. It is expensive. It's not out of my price range, though. So I'm going to have to see what all other investments I have first. I've heard there are more, uh, more and more uh, sexy armor designs on the other continents. Why do we still keep these? I'm afraid I don't need any physical training this time. Oh, obviously your group is insanely strong. Even the mages look like they could physically destroy me. And I'd love it. Looking for another slave? Not really. Close group, sorry. Pity. <laughs> uh, please tell me Lexanda's not been randomly tossed into prison. Haven't there been Phylanese prisoners over the years? We were looking for them. Not officially, at least not recently. If any were captured by private illegal action, they'd have been sold as slaves. Our interest is in finding captives who might be repatriated. Oh, well, if the princess say it, says so, let us know if you have anything. We do have records of some of that. I'd need to assign someone to gather that data and correspond with slavers. Can you do that? I'll send an orc right away. Okay. 
I was expecting, I was half expecting to find Lexanda in here. I'm going to go investigate the throne room and then hit the town, I guess, because Lexanda is who I'm looking for. Uh, no, I've already been all about. Okay. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, there you are. Wait, Nalili. We need to talk. We really need to talk. Yeah, I, I was here to wonder if you could get me into Phylon. Go ahead. The problem is I'd need to reveal critical information. It's like, it, I'd like to believe I can trust you, but this is magic beyond my pay grade. What is it? Wait, was that? The illusion! Zestris, you're alive? Thank the Anok. Uh, no thanks to the Anok. But I was severely impaired by the war and I'm out of touch with Phylon. What were you referring to? That's the problem. I wish I knew. That war over the goddesses on Arklant seemed to cause ripples all over the world. Phylon was unharmed, I hope. I don't know if I'm qualified to answer that, but as far as I can tell. But the magic is all a bit screwed up. Many elements locked down and the economy will eventually suffer. You mean that even ordinary people are having trouble passing into Phylon? Ordinary people? Even I had trouble getting back out. I can't give you all the information I have, but there are a number of high-end magical elements that must be set right. So, we're not at war? This isn't some scheme from the Anak? The situation is complicated. There's more than I can explain now. If Lexanda could pass through the barriers with his magical signatures, could we do the same? I don't know about just giving that out, but if Zestris is here... Yes, that'd be helpful. Meanwhile, I have some advice for you to share with the leadership in Seothesis. Will that get us in? I'll pass it along to your mages to double check, but yes, you should be able to access Pylon via, via teleportation chamber. But not the capital or any critical magical infrastructure. We'll need to begin on the periphery. Will the nation itself weather this? The loss of leadership? Yes. The Anox actions? Okay. Let's take care of Lexanda's problem. There's something I want to do. Uh, what did Lexanda want me to... Mistress sent me to find much slave info. Organized thing. What'd you find? Very hard. Some slaves move. Some not slaves. Much confused. Also take much money to send back. We expected that. How much? Hard say. Many thing involves. Empire have slavery. No big agree with Phylon. As much money. Mistress, tell me current numbers. You pay me. We send all Phylons back. If it's any comfort, Nalili, we'll observe the entire uh, process and audit their fees if anything seems amiss. And I guess that's just how we'll have to play it. Numbers say need 1 million money to find Phylons and send back. We'll see about that. That... Man, the more money, the more prawn I get, the more it seems like I actually have none. Like, because the amount of stuff I can buy, I can actually buy is decreased. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's nothing here that I give a damn about. Alright. Hmm. I guess we go to Renthnor, uh, to... Should we just jump straight in here, or should we go to the wilds first? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go straight to file on. The dungeon here will at least be a fun test drive of these new mechanics, I suppose. Unless this isn't file on, we've arrived. I recognize this. Village SE11. What? What kind of name is that? Ah, uh, you don't know. No. Dargellon and Gelderon doesn't get to criticize anybody about that. 
I get to do that because it is a weird name, but Dargellon and Gelderon don't don't get to talk to others about names. All but a few of the oldest settlements were established with clear labels instead of unnecessary names. Oh boy, I can't wait to visit city number three. That aside, there... I'm going to need to find this song in the game files. That aside, there are several important questions. Namely, if we need to be concerned here and what we can do. This is a completely innocent village. We're in no danger and please don't do anything to disrupt the people here. Full illusions for everyone then. When we're ready, I should be able to draw us into the inner tower mechanisms. This is close enough to accomplish all, our, all of our objectives. The path inward is, by design, rather winding. If I may ask a favor, I would request that we ease the barrier to improve the lives of, of the Philonese. Making it somewhat more porous would be beneficial for our purposes in any case. Presuming we can do that and penetrate to the center, do you think we'll face traps potentially equal to those we've already seen? I don't think you uh, you need to be worried about anything like what Hester did to you. The Anox power is fundamentally that of an incubus. Well, also, they're a little too busy. They're they're a little too uh, trapped elsewhere to deal with me, to do shit to me again. So I'm not worried about it. It may be difficult at times, but I'll do my, bo my utmost to keep us safe and guide us to the center. Is Elika still there or would the Anok have taken her? She was installed in a specific location. I don't believe she could be taken away, and the Anok ha has what he needs in any case. Then we can rescue her. Yes, we can. Let's go do that. Is there any chance he would have left some of his plans? Not written, but there may be hints implicit in what's been left behind. We can address all that later. First, let's establish our bearings in this village. No entry. We got to keep the port safe from suspicious foreigners. What the fuck? Appa? They have sky bison. I'm immediately jealous. Is that a dryad over there? I don't know. We've been promising to clear the region for years. Never gets done. Okay. That is a dryad. Foreign visitors, how rare. Should we have assigned someone to greet you? Well, a Warcraft Dryad, but you know. Not a lot of people here right now. It's the middle of the freaking day. I'm trying to get us started on food too, but everyone wants to eat at home. Okay. Welcome to the Frumpled Feather. My sister and I can get you anything we have on tap. Why don't they serve hot chocolate? I wanted hot chocolate. I'm surprised the kid is being allowed in this bar. Oh my, such a large group. I'm afraid we only re we're only really capable of hosting a few travelers or sailors, so I don't know. Don't worry, we're only passing through. That's good then. It's not like we get too many customers, so you don't need to clear out too quickly or anything. We run the best inn in town. Yes, it's the only inn. I'm not staying, I'm just here to warm up. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. What's... The deeper waters are restricted for some sort of magical reason. How the hell are we going to fish? Okay. Is it just me or are the ice vines coming in weird this year? Or, uh, okay. Easy girl, you get your food in some time. I am... I, I, I need plushies of these fucking sky bison, but I think Nickelodeon would sue you. Uh, we mainly deal in local supplies. I doubt we have anything of interest to you. Phylonese thing slightly reduces ice damage. Why is... Oh, well, I guess the defense rating is why it's better for Yara. Which means it's probably actually worse overall. I don't hate these non... Uh, I don't hate these nonsensical... Like, these random low-level shops. Uh, broke my spade. I gotta get a new one. Oh, are we replacing brooms with shovels now? These provincial little... <laughs> Little towns. They're quaint, I suppose. Ugh. If you don't have a business here, move on. You'll make the... The Woloths all snuffy. All snuffly. Okay. 
We do keep other animals, you know. The Woloths can survive just fine even in blizzards, but they like being inside to have their fur brushed out. Okay. Humans would be miserable in the colder parts of Phylon, if not for us. That's probably the tower entrance. I am just looking around still. Okay. I've been in here. Wait. I don't suppose... Didn't think so. What about down here? Okay. I just had to check. Um... I want your mages to check me, but I believe we can transition to the tower here. The barrier in Zelica? We'll have to wind our way through, but yes. There don't seem to be many complications. Now that we're inside the barrier, all the magic appears quite normal. As it should be. We wanted the people of Phylon to be able to live without advanced magic. But our journey will be long. Let me know when you wish to depart. Uh, that's not going to move on like the entire section, is it? I'm going to keep an alternate save file in case it does. Would you like to venture into the tower here? Then prepare yourselves. This region of the tower looks rather sparse. Nothing to do but take the path, I suppose. While the entities here are not particularly deadly, be warned they were twisted to resist invaders. Do you know the exact methods? I am unfamiliar with the exact details, my apologies, but I do recall being concerned that poison might be an effective method in too many cases. Perhaps that'll avail us now. Okay, Altina then. Altina and Akka, um, and because of Poison Storm, that means Riala. What? Uh, did any, do any of you have new skills I don't know about? Lethal Intent. Unite the Harem. Akka rallies the party, raising a fence. Limited one warm-up? Five? Okay. Lethal Intent. Goes all out for one turn, boosting offense. Instant limited one. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Gathered healing. Altina can war heal the party with accumulated mana. Limited one, warm up three. What the fuck is warm up? Okay. Poison Storm. Atmospheric Joe. While casting, Altina throws off additional lightning. Instant cooldown three. Uh-huh. Instant warm-up five limited one. Does limited one just mean like once per combat or... Hmm. C cyclical fire? Sets up a particularly potent spell. Cooldown three. So, focus. Inspire. He'll star us energy. Combat teleports. Walk one character in the active party. Does that work on people that are dead? I'm not sure how I feel about that being attached to Riala and uh, to, to to Riala specifically because that means Riala is mandatory to have in your active party at all times so that you can switch mid-fight for someone who actually fits the situation. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay. Protective hug embraces one ally vastly increasing defense for one turn. Why did everybody get like these limited use abilities? Weird. Happy tingles bubbles up happily. Instant limited one. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yara. <sighs> Lustful emissaries. Appreciate harem. Gains lust from how hot the harem is. Bonded fantasy. Yara and a partner strengthen their bond. Heals and cures once per battle. Okay, that doesn't... 
there is a difference between once per one use per battle and limited one. What does limited one mean? <laughs> Context. I am a Yu-Gi-Oh player, and while no more need be said for anyone else who plays that game to understand, to those who don't, that card game has something called problem-solving card text, which standardized all keywords in an attempt to remove any confusion about what an effect actually does in-game. For example, cards that used to say, if this card destroys a defense position monster by battle, your opponent takes battle damage equal to the difference between this card's attack and the opposing monster's defense, or some variation of that phrase, was universally changed and updated on every card that does that to just say, inflict piercing damage. Someone totally new might not know what piercing is, but as soon as they do know, they never need it explained to them a second time again. Another much more pedantic and in-depth variation of PSCT is when a card reads IF this card is sent to the graveyard versus WHEN this card is sent to the graveyard. They have very different activation and response windows, as well as sent versus destroyed. So a card that reads, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, has a very different interaction with the game than a card that reads, if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Including, but not limited to, when, meaning the effect has to go off the moment the card hits the graveyard, so your opponent can actually make the effect fizzle by activating a card effect the moment it hits the grave, whereas if this card is sent to the grave means the effect is okay to wait until its first legal opportunity since being sent there to go off. So, when I'm reading some skills that say one use per battle, and other skills that say limited one, I'm immediately assuming those mean different things. As I'm going to find out by the end of this dungeon, they don't. So a quality of life recommendation I have for Sierra is please pick either once per battle or limited and apply that phrase to all relevant abilities wholesale. I can only use this once ever? Like, what does this mean? Era Mistress swaps one character in the active party sexily. That's also a hell of a lot less than, uh, Riala's. Okay, so Yara also has an active combat switch. Why? And so do you. Okay. Vanguard. For one ally, buffing them substantially. Focuses on an ally to defend. I'm guessing this means, uh, it's guard from Final Fantasy. Like, she'll take a hit in someone else's place. Uh-huh. Interesting. There are some interesting opportunities. Okay. Disrupt. Dark Lance, Robin channels energy to unleash a dangerous attack. Cooldown 3, warm up 1. I still don't know what that means. Robin absorbs mana from the air. Instant, warm up 3, cooldown 3, limited 3. What does that mean? We're gonna have to learn. Okay, I see a 100 mana cost thing. But, Holy Burst, Karina leaves off healing to un unleash a holy... They gave Karina... You gave Karina a damaging spell. Seven turn cooldown, limited three. Again, is that like three uses ever or three per rest? Like, like three per proper rest or something. Shining Banner, heals and grants an ally offensive buffs. Divine Intervention swaps a character in the active party even if they are disabled or injured. Okay, so you can't swap someone who's dead, but Karina can. Or counter-argument, Karina could just do that. Or it... wait. No, uh, or, or is this instant? No, it's just one time... It, 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 it's one time use. Nearly hip check? Okay. Karina, yeah, I, I remember this. Mother's Lost imitates her mother and channels pure lost. Cooldown 3, limited 3. Hip check. Nalili strikes an enemy with a sexy hip thrust. Debuffing attack. Instant cooldown 3. I'm, I'm presuming instant means it doesn't use their turn. Um, I'm hoping that's what it means anyways. That'll speed up combat. 
extensively. Physical burst. Draws out more physical power for one turn. Oh, yeah. I was told these, uh... Instant. Yeah. Yeah, I was told the, uh, auras were changed. Physical burst. Draws out more physical power for one turn. Instant. Limited one. Warm up two. Does warm up mean that, uh minimum number of turns before it can be cast like she can only cast these on round two like that's kind of the read the read i'm getting is these are good skills but you can't use them from round one like you can only use them on the turn count that uh this has did they actually give a purpose to you Uyaya having magical ability though because her heals, if I need a healer, I'm not turning to Uyaya. There are, like, four better options for that than her. I'm sorry. Also, there's still a difference between magic and healing, apparently. So, uh, hmm. Vala. Balanced nature. Vala draws upon the power inherent in her nature to heal herself. Okay, she's got a self-heal. Unhand. Touches an ally healing status effects. That actually does make Vala a lot more attractive, like, because there's too many fights where um, she doesn't do anything, uh, which is fine. Nobody has to be useful in every situation, but, like, it, it's just not knowing. But, of course, she's more attractive an option just because we have the ability to switch party members mid-fight now. I still kind of think they should be a menu option rather than uh, an ability, but whatever. Earth Bomb, Defender's Frenzy, yeah, we got that. Varia draws on her luck in combat. Instant, limited one. I'm guessing that's going to be a, she, for one turn, she can't be hit by anything. Um, which, thematically, thematically, that would make the most sense. Death in Blood, strikes out and drains health. That's actually really good. Three turn cooldown, got it. Okay. Janasta. Agile Guard. He'll store us energy. Instant cooldown 3. Protects user and reduces damage. Heroic Echo. Briefly attains a flicker of her old power. Instant limited 1. Can only use on round 3 if warm up means what I think it means. I can't think what else it would mean though. Attacks almost instantly alongside her other attacks. Shadow Slash. Yeah, so instant does mean it doesn't consume their turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Akka, Altina, and Riala because poison is... Not these fucking birds again. Okay. I am surprised Simon still has SP for now. Draws on a fraction of his shards neutral power, striking random enemies. Command. Swaps one care. Okay, if Simon can do it too, then uh, I mean, even if it's only once per fight, fine. Uh, unified. There's only the one, so poison, poison. Hey, you said poison was their weakness. All right, whatever. Forceful lunge fire they probably it probably doesn't care about magic specifically but didn't matter there all right zestris you lied to me there whatever uh let's see Lame. That's all we can find in the big fancy tower place. The goal is to make this region largely empty, which functions as a defense mechanism in multiple ways. You're definitely not getting treasure hunters, at least. Yeah, but stuff is stuff. So. Mana Wing, Hollow Couchier, Unending Desire. Okay. Dominate. Uh. Hmm. Sable. 
Let's try this. It is. I just wanted to see what that did. Poison Storm. Cyclical Fire. Wow, they really don't care for her. Uh, Ultina can finish that off. You're dominated, so stab that. Uh, uh just attack it. Because I can't use magic on the mana wing. Oh, it fucking revived Riala, then healed her. Okay, they reworked how that works to be better. Like, because Riala actually came back at a decent amount of HP. Interesting. Okay. Uh... Try fire. Now it's lost I need for that. Okay. Uh... Uh, Lance. Twenty-one thousand. Okay. Dominate. Atmospheric jolt and. Riala does a lot of damage now. All right. What's that? There's no need to be alarmed. That isn't manifested by the tower. It's a device. A safe device because that's not much comfort on its own. It appears to control the barrier surrounding Phylon. Correct. We can't take it down from here. That's the entire design, but we can ease the restrictions for the common people. Doesn't seem like it'd take very long. Great. I'll keep an eye out. I'll need a moment with this crystal. Okay. 12, 6. Okay. 12 Doug Dima dollars. Um. Walla Flash, Fleeting Glimmer, Hollow Couchier. You lost Mads. All right, nice. You're poisoned. Try to corrupt you. Well, you're already lost Mad. Though you won't be at the end of this, I suppose. Um. So yeah, warm up does appear to mean can't use until that until number of turns has passed in fight, but also limited. So, does Unite the Har is Unite the Harem actually that good? Like, are these warm-up abilities worth the wait, or...? Find out, I guess. Uh, let's try Earth. Cyclical Fire. Heal yourself, uh, jolt, and then heal yourself. Just a little bit of extra damage. Little bit of extra damage on board. Um, that thing. Okay, that thing auto evades physical. Got it. I don't know why I wasn't picking up on that before. Support allies. 
I mean, you're poisoned still, so we're going to disable you. Uh, just burn it. Pack, I guess. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Wall of Flesh wasn't kidding. It is sort of annoying. Okay. Sacred Revival Potion. Hey, something of value. Well, Estera, you've now... Uh, Estera. Zestrus, you've now lied to me again. <laughs> there was actually something of a little bit of value here. Another chest. 3-6. Okay. Harden Demon, Hollow Couchier. Uh, we'll try that. Poison. Poison Strums. Cyclical Fire. Okay, Blocked Poison. Got it. These things do not care for Simon, like, at all. Uh, forceful on uh, Simon, Riala, at all. I don't like that you just did that. Okay. It does not care for magic either. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, I don't think I have a revival, but I have a Riala who can switch in someone who does. Um... Well, that actually did damage for a change, so... That is cool. Uh, we need someone who can strike more physically, but at the same time... I need a revival, so... This would be a spot. <laughs> Reviving aura. Uh, trisexual. Does a little bit. Corrupt. Forceful. Take down. Uh. Or of my... Yep, because it doesn't use up a turn. Take down. Kill Simon. That motherfucker took no... What? Why? Where did all the damage I was doing go? Hardened Demon B. Okay. Uh... Hmm... Okay, so King's Aura got nerfed. 
because there is a and and, and unless uh, I, unless I'm th it might be the Yu-Gi-Oh player in me, but once uh, ability saying limited one and once per battle is two different sentences, so that worries me on a whole different level. Like so, what I would assume is that limited means per rest. Um, whereas once per battle is once per battle. Uh, so if that's true, King Zora's nerf, but if it's not true, then I'm never going to remember to use King Zora. <laughs> Can I poison you? Okay, so all three go on cooldown when you do this. I mean, Shockwave, I guess. Tricyclical Fire. Okay, so it is mana that I need. Okay, limited one. Uh, so we don't want to use yours if that's the case. Hmm. Gonna keep shock waving because that at least does something. Sexual damage doesn't do anything, so. Hmm. Alright. Formation, Uyaya, give me back Altina. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, this uh, opens up a lot more tactical flexibility. I like the swaps. I only need a moment with this crystal. Insufficient. I fear we must seek out more of these nodes than I expected. Okay. So... I am literally just doing this because Nalili appears to want to do something. But I guess we need to finish this first. Okay. If I'm correct about this being Lexanda's request. Mana Potion. Honestly, it's free mana. Uh, Wall of Flesh, Mana Wing, Fleeting Glimmer. Okay, so... I don't like... I, I hate all of this. Um, I hate all of this. Uh, Unified Strike. Poison Storm. That's going to bounce, but... Uh, we'll at Mojo first. Like, that does not really do shit, but it's, I guess, a little bit of extra damage. So, I mean, I guess. Fire's a lost. Right, that thing evades all physical. Alright, Riel is dead again. Alright, Riel is not really going to be useful here. That dodges, so disable. Uh, that thing has wind, so I doubt Earth Lance does anything. We'll try lightning. Lightning's not doing anything. Oh, I don't like this. Ford allies. Try to disable the mana wing again. Hmm. That'll bounce. Fire Earth Lance, I guess.
support allies. Disable you again. Earth lands you again. And you target yourself with combat teleport. Because you're the only one here who's not very useful. Wait, Earth Lance isn't requiring Robin. Yes, I did finally notice. Are you proud of me? I just realized that the way wait, Earth Lance, that was a Robin synergy in the last version. Now she can just kind of do that. And that has made Altina way more useful. Alright, so Riella can target herself with that. I'm surprised it took me that long is all. Uh, not just physical, so let's bring in the big gun. Oh, wait, no, the one that dodges physical is dead. That was stupid. It, I, it's the one on the right needs to die by physical, but I have Akka here, so it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Earth Lance. Fire Lance. I doubt ice does anything to you, but you know. Well, I would have, I actually was fully expecting you to resist it, so that's fine. Um, salt. Static strike. No. What? No. You're going to dodge, so just attack it. We should die here, right? Why did it bounce Incubus Strike? That wasn't a... I guess Incubus Assault a spell. Whatever. Surely this dies, right? Yeah. Alright, these fights are taking a lot longer, but... I'm actually fine with that because of the newfound tactical flexibility. I actually don't mind it. Um... Still gonna swap in Riala because Simon's is... No crystal? It seems that these nodes have become somewhat disrupted. It must be nearby. Well, yeah, I saw it over here, didn't I? Yeah. I only need a moment with this crystal. Okay. Uh, 16-6. You know, if I zoomed out and saw this entire map, what would the picture these ro th this pathway is creating be, would be my question. Isn't that where I started? Hold up. I think I started over there. Hmm. <clears throat> Wall of flesh, unending desire, fleeting glimmer, dominate that. That dodges all physical, so disable that. Poison strom. Fire strom. Oh, weak poison. Why was I not casting poison at it on repeat with Aka and Alpina? Horde allies. Poison. Poison. Uh, get your lust back. Okay. Poison. Poison. Cyclical fire. I 
I can support allies all fucking day. I do not care. Wait. I uh, yeah, actually can't this time because that has to be dominated again. Poison. Poison. Uh, bolt. Dominated blind stun. Okay, that seems to be like Demi. That, that, that... That little AoE ability, because it does less damage the less health I have. Alright, Poison Blade isn't actually being weak to Wall of Flesh for some reason. So, focus on that, Poison. Try bolting it. Blind in Silence. Okay, that's probably not good. But I have Cures. So... Attack the unending desire. Static that. Where's cure? I swear Altina had cure too. Uh, okay, I guess we're combat teleporting in. Uh, Arena or something. Uh. Hmm. Uh, we'll pull in Karina so that Simon can focus on attacking. Because Karina has an offensive ability I want to try out anyways. The fucking wall of flesh is still alive. Give a strike, forceful lunge, poison. Support allies. Try a death blow. Poison. Let's try Holy Burst. I want to see what it does. Enough. Enough to make Karina more than just uh, someone who makes the battle take 500 years in exchange for guaranteeing you win. Atmospheric Jolt. Earth Lance. The fact that it has a 7 turn cooldown and is limited to 3 times. Okay. Uh, is a little annoying, but, you know, I'll take it. I need to get Alpine. Oh, uh, like. Uh. Okay. Robin's now 92. Uh, yeah, we bring... Eesh. Yeah, we need Riala here to enable Poison Storm. Akka, we're gonna try trading out for Yara. Uh, and failing that, Janosta, maybe. We're gonna see how this plays. Mana Wing. Of course, when I've got three mages, the thing that reflects magic is what we're dealing with. Alright. I'm gonna be in so much trouble with everyone because this option was here the whole time and I didn't even check this was an accident. But it's in the way, so I clearly do have to beat it. But the fact that I can do that means I could have just backed out and switched to a pure physical team to deal with that. So, Nalili, Varia, and Janasta. Alright. Kick this thing's ass. Incubus Strike. Uh, Nalili! Right, you have this instead of SP retention now.
So, uh, you should probably have the Lost Lord's pen. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, because you need to spend the first turn buffing anyways. Uh, okay, so they didn't make Varia's aura instant, which is probably good, except for this. But because she's already really broken, she doesn't need the buff, even though this is technically, these are technically also auras. Um, so we're just going to prep for all of that. Of course, that counts as a spell. <laughs> really? I was actually 100% expecting someone to make some kind of commentary on how easy that was compared to the other things here. I, I backed out, did all that prep work, and... Uh, okay. Sure. Sure! Why not? I only need a moment with this crystal. Okay. Uh, no chest. Health potion. Okay, what's over here, though? First and foremost. Okay, we're checking out the other path. That one's different colored, which means boss. Or should mean boss. Maybe mini boss. Uh... That thing dodges physical. Let's try to stun lock you. Uh, Bonded Fantasy. Uh, none of these reflect magic, so we're gonna try it. Poison Strom. Fire Strom. Double poison. Alright, that just dies. Uh, Alright. Corrupt you if we can. Rebuild your power. Of course you can't be corrupted. Support allies, rebuild your power. Poison. Okay. Yeah, this thing on its own really can't do a whole hell of a lot to me, so we can just kind of rebuild everything for free. Uh, now we'll get to try Pure Lost, I suppose. Well, I suppose we have been trying Pure Lost with Riala. Torment, Poison, Plants. Well, it doesn't resist it, so... That works for me. I suppose you have Earth Whip. We can try that. Nice. Okay, that's cleared. Hey, it looks like it opens up ahead. Seems we've navigated the outer limits, but penetrating deeper, it's a rather a tangle. 
This is far enough. If you wish to move on, I can take us to our central defenses from here. Surely it can't be that easy. It won't. Even I would hesitate to try to penetrate the defenses we had set up. But on the other hand, and lies Zelica and potentially more information. We should proceed when ready. Okay. Um. Then this was option. Then this direction was the an optional boss. Uh, let us fully, let us attack. Um. You're actually going to use that mana potion just to restore a little bit of Altina's energy. All right. Endless wall, endless loss, endless wings, endless courtesy. Okay. I doubt I can dominate you, but we'll try it. We don't have lustful emissaries available uh, just yet. <laughs> Poison Strom. Bars of Lust. I can dominate that. And Lust Mad. Your buff. Uh, that's fine. Those two are poisoned. Uh, support. Build up some power. Yeah, keep poisoning. The bounce is going to hurt Riala more than anybody else, but... Like, because Althina doesn't give a shit about this bounce, like, at all. Well, Riala barely cares, for that matter. It's the fact that they keep counterattacking Riala for some reason. Uh, I don't know if I want a King's Aura, because the next section may just be an actual boss. And that is a problem with making limits. Uh, alright. Can I corrupt you? That is the question. Uh... Teleport yourself out. I can corrupt that. So they're all CC'd now. They are basically all CC'd. Um... So I guess we bring in Varia to start picking them off. Okay then. Ludo narrative dissonance in a nutshell there. I brought her up to the front and she immediately got shot in the head. The one thing that would never happen to this character in canon. Okay, then. Right, I needed Riala for the attack I was trying to use with Yara. Oops, oh well. Emissary. Oh wait, they're not all CC'd. Two of them are poisoned. You're CC'd and you're CC'd. Yeah, whatever. And you can't poison storm anymore, so that was kind of a mistake getting rid of Riala. Okay, that one I care about. 30,000! What the hell, Yara? It countered with nothingness, so it really didn't appreciate you doing that, but... The okay, atmospheric jolt is as good as a, I want to make sure this bitch dies. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what gathered healing does. Uh, frenzy. I forgot that I had Simon set to support allies when I had Altina do that. Oh well. Dominate you. Uh, poison you. Blade dance.
Jesus Christ. Both hits landed on Varyev. Just auto-killed her. Emissary. Poison. I do not know why that does 30,000 damage randomly. Holy shit. But I love it. I am McLovin' that. Um... I think Jolt's up, so... You're just gonna rebuild power for the moment. Yep, Jolt's up, so that just dies. Uh, attack it. And... Fury Swipes. That should finish it. Yep. Alright. Shining Sword. I don't suppose you know anything about these. Hillstar, we got our answer there. Not so much uh, beyond what Avala already told you. So long as a Divine Channel's open, they'll slowly congeal. Divine Channel? I'm afraid I don't know enough about Divine Magic. Neither do I. Is this another cynical, t a cynical take on religion? More or less. Unless you're fighting direct, unless you're fighting directly, what matters isn't raw Divine Power, but how many channels you can create at once. Hence why there can only be a small number of Chosen at once. Until Hester began increasing her power, yes. So when one Chosen died, another was drawn into the same channel and nothing changed. Except these swords were left behind, apparently. But you've used Divine as a generic description. Could the same apply to other goddesses? Any being with a Divine Shard could create such if their power was being used in these specific ways. Well, I guess we'll just have to clean up after all of them. I only need a moment with this crystal. Very good. The barrier around Phylon will not remove, should no longer trouble its population. Trade and immigration can return to normal. I'm glad it wasn't more trouble than that. Thank you for taking the time to complete this, Simon. Truly. Eh. I ain't zhuzhed about it. Uh. I want to bring in Lily. I need to bring... Riala back in and get her healed up because I still need, like, the poison stuff. I think. Though Altina's running out of gas, so... But we have combat switches, so it's fine for her to run out of gas now. Because we can switch her on a fly. We're not screwed if she runs out of mana. Okay. Are we ready to proceed? Yeah. I made a choice. I ran. And I didn't look back. The fuck? This place looks different. Please bear in mind that Phylon is rather large and it is an all ice and snow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not Rodok. Um, though I think Rodok's bigger, so. This is the natural foliage of the warmer inner regions. I find it quite nostalgic. Unless I miss my guess, some of the plants we're seeing aren't so natural. That is true. That is true. You don't need to be concerned about them, however. I need this track, too! I need this track, too! Who? Who? These songs just keep getting better. Goddamn. I fucking love this one. God damn. Where are we headed? This tower region's a maze designed to prevent anyone from doing exactly what we intend. I regret I cannot lead us through, but I'll be able to dissolve any locks we come across. But not tower knots, I imagine. Oh boy, time for this again. Please also be cautious with the entities of the region. They'll display even more extreme defensive characteristics. Zelika's close. I'm sure I can feel her. Neat. One second. Okay. Uh... I can't interact with that. Where's... I don't see a way... 
Wait. Ow. Okay, um... Zestrus, I thought you could get rid of barriers. Alright. The battle theme doesn't change. Follow Kushier, Unending Desire, Corporeal Glimmer. Uh, interesting. Alright. Poison Strom. Cyclical Fire. Done. Poison, poison, poison. Resist that. Hex of the Void. Mortal Blood. Nulili just did not take damage there. Dominate. Orgy of Blows. Actually, you need to combat masturbate one more time and then start orging. Uh, you're stunned. Jolt. Poison. Okay. Okay. Board allies. Orgy. Wow, that all three of those were going were popping off on that one. Alright, attack, orgy, poison, fire. Side strike, orgy, poison, fire. Okay. Orgy. Attack, attack. Genosis now 92. Okay. Hey, wait. Isn't that a tower access point like the kind we always use? Indeed it is. Good eye. Too far to jump, and I suppose all the tower magic will keep us from flying over. Correct, but if you can reach that point, I should be able to take us into central Phylon. We're going to have to run back through here for some reason because I can't get rid of these barriers. Even though she said she could? I don't know. Maybe those are not. What's this? There is very little here. Looking for the Anox records? I didn't expect a journal perfectly explaining his motives, but I expected something. Perhaps it was simply wishful thinking that I'd find something that would allow me to forgive him. Some trace of the man I thought I knew. Possible that he just didn't use this location for his research? No, I believe he was conducting some experiments without my knowledge here in the maze. It's simply that there's so little that can be gleaned from them. What I'm seeing is destruction in the tower along a very strange lines. Was he trying to kill the tower? You could view those as patterns of annihilation. They couldn't. Uh, they, they're the one. They're the one form of evidence he couldn't wipe clear. Hmm. I'd have to think on what could be deduced from such fragmentary data. Does it offer some useful information for us then? What we know for certain is that he was conducting experiments on the power of the different shards, especially as used together in the tower. Was he seeking something more than the usual interactions? Nothing about goddesses or incubus kings would explain this. I know uh, this is purely speculation based on what I know of him and maybe foolish, but go ahead. He once commented to me that cooperation between the two was impossible because the fundamental of uh, the fundamentals of the world disliked that balance. I believe his experiments may have been enforcing a combination of the two. I don't like the implications of that. Is that possible? It's a crime against nature. And the last time that happened, un we got on Succubus. Um, and the time before that, we apparently got chosen. Many things are possible. It's just a question of sufficient power and the consequences. And the consequences. We'll examine what we can and see if it tells us anything about his intended methods. This is a critical point in the Knot's defenses. I can't take us all the way in, but I can take us substantially closer. Why don't you sound more positive about it? This is, after all, a knot. It's designed to be difficult to untangle. 
you're familiar with power phases, I believe. You may need to step between the phases to navigate to the center. We'll keep that in mind. I'll be here whenever you need me. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I screwed this up last time with uh, because there was apparently some item called the Orchosphere or something here. 893.6. Whatever. Alright, we gotta kill whatever this is. Um... Ethereal Glimmer, Fleeting Glimmer. Okay, that's a new thing. I can corrupt the Skullbird from hell, so... Ethereal probably means it, I can't hit it with uh, physical attacks, but we're still gonna confirm that. Uh, Fires of Lust. No, I can hit it with that. Magic shield. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, corrupt the mana wing. Orgy of blows. Heal yourself. Uh, zero turns on what? Okay. Interesting. Uh, sport allies. Okay. Hip check. That is very good, actually. I forgot about this ability. I just saw it. Um. Fire. Heal yourself. Nice. I like Nali- Oh, crap. That means Altina's gonna get uh, feedback in a second. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I suppose that means we have to shift phases now. Uh, can we get Altina's mana back? We do have a mana po- Oh, no. Fuck it. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Wall of Flesh, Dull Glow, Corporeal Glimmer. And each phase, these enemies are gonna get tougher, aren't they? I don't know what that is. Hit it with that. Um, poison storm the field. Rebuild, uh, rebuild lost. Blind and stun. Okay, poison. Po okay, yep. Altina is king here. Physical shield. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't die to a road. Got it. Uh, like Altina just proved in one fell swoop that I can't die to a road. Uh. Can I corrupt these corporeal glimmers? Heal her. Yeah, okay. I they are all poisoned. Uh, hip check. Where'd you blows? Storm, storm. I strike you, or you blows, fire. Yeah, 
Yeah, mana masturbation, like, is not really worth it. Um, Ink Fish Strike, Orgy Blows, uh, keep your power up, Poison. Port allies. I mean, this thing can't actually kill us because of a road. Because a road doesn't work like that. So we're fine. Vol is now ninety-one. Two large mana potions. That'll be good because we need to keep Althena charged. Um, okay. Okay. I see how this works now. Dull flow, uh, unified strike, poison. Ooh, neutrality. Okay, so she did no damage there. That's interesting. The shit and the Lily. Uh, all right. We're st very close yet. I feel like we're still far away. I recall now, to undo the knot, we need to destroy the various crystal formations, binding it in place. They'll be resistant to direct attacks, but if you can find smaller purple crystals, they'll destroy their counterparts. We'll look for them. Revival potion. Okay. Well, we destroyed two already, so... Oh, uh, let me see here. And we shift again. Turn to the outer phase and see what we broke out here. Uh... Okay. That's still in place. That is not. Holy drought. That is... Okay, so we broke that one crystal. Now we got to port back. Uh, alright. Now we can break this. Uh... Port back. Let's see what we broke over. Uh, did we? Enemies are back. Okay. And that means something definitely changed out here. Okay. Manning presence, combat masturbation, poison storm. Fires have lost. Two stuns. Nice. Three poisons. One less mad, but that, that one's stunned, so it doesn't matter. 
Keep commanding presence if that's going to keep stunning because Simon's luck is actually insane because of the ribbon. So I didn't even think about that. That makes commanding presence actually really good against things that are vulnerable. Uh, hip check you. Or do you blows. Uh, you're neutrality right now, so you're just going to guard. Uh, because I assume neutrality, because neutrality appears to reduce whatever you're, um, cause your next action to basically fizzle. Um, you're going to get power back. Three stuns. Ooh, commanding presence suddenly became terrifying with this. Poison storm. You build your power. All right, everything's poisoned. Keep keep chain stunning them. Fuck it. That one's dead. Uh, poison. Cyclical fire. Where your blows? Poison. Bolt. Lost death. Nice. Alright. Lost renewal. Orgy blows. Poison. Fire. Because that'll get your mana back. Uh, I may have to bring in Yara for, uh, just cleavage. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Uh, yeah, I think I have to bring in Yara to battery, uh, Altina and Riella's mana back. Um... Uh, yeah. We're gonna do that and then swap her out. Autumn Claw. Look, it's not literally Autumn, but saying Leaf Claw or something would sound stupid. <laughs> Uh, well, because Leaf is in its name, I'm gonna assume that's probably something from fucking Naruto or some shit. Um, that that's probably a thing in in that. Magic goes up by fifty. Attack goes up by five. Her defense goes down by ten. Don't care. Magic defense goes down by ten. Don't care. Agility goes up. All right. I mean, I, technically, I suppose I could fucking. Yeah. Whatever. Although, wait, uh, no, because uh, Varya has her weapons. Alright, so what spawned here after we did that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um... Dual throw, uh, okay. That's dominate, that is the wrong one. Commanding presence. Okay, limited one and one per battle might be the same thing. I I'm gonna have to... That's not fun, but then battery... Using Yara as a mana battery uh, was very much a thing. But battery Alpina, we need it. We need it because, like, she's carrying this dungeon. I actually got my wish, and I found a dungeon that uh, is Alpina's... Po like, look at this poison! Alright... Commanding presence. Rebuild your power. Just burn through them. Uh, 
You do that. You fucking do that. Sexual torment. Fire. Fire. Okay, so we're gonna have to get into one more fight to see if you if limited is just is just another way of saying once per battle, and if it is, Sierra, you gotta standardize that. Pick one, uh, pick either limited or once per battle, and re retro and just reapply that description. Um, but if it is once per dungeon, I'm a little annoyed that you nerfed sexual mana, <laughs> but I understand. I understand, but fuck you. All right, so we seem to be able to, yeah, we can get through this now. Fuck, it's the boss fight, so I can't check to see if Yara is able to, I can't quite check what limited means because I'm definitely going to need Nalili here. Uh, like she's been proving too good, be too good. Uh, I mean, we have Riala on standby to switch. We have Simon on standby to switch. It's fine. Probably. But we need a, we need, this is it. If we break through here, we'll be able to enter the normal door and reach the inner sanctum. Do we need to be worried about particularly powerful entities guarding the way? Xerxes was never fond of exceptionally powerful blockades, but we did enhance the natural defenses. Please be cautious. If I recall, his designs would attempt to punish those without flexibility. I suggest you choose your companions carefully. I mean, I have the switch out, so we're going to try it with this team. Tower nodes again. All right, let's see what you do. Uh... See which one of you is inevitably weak to Earth. Alright, it's the one on the left. So Altina's just going to go beat the dog shit out of that. Alright, Nolili getting sex bound is annoying. Uh hmm. Earth Lance. Well, we won't need Poison Storm here, so Riala's going to swap herself out for someone who can fix Nalili. Why did that bounce back onto Altina? Uh, okay, so... Hmm. We're going to grab you. You're an asshole. Oh, they switch between physical and magical every turn. Okay. I see. So you're going to reflect magical this turn. I mean, physical this turn. And the next turn, you'll reflect magical. I see. A, 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 C. I understand. Fix Nalili, please. Now you're on that magical time, and you're on that demon timing, so... Of course you evaded that. Um... Come up, masturbate. You can't do anything... Okay. So, limited does just mean once per battle. Yeah, you need to change that description, because I was completely fooled. Um, like, you need to ch You need to either say once per battle, or limited... Like, this is, this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! player used to problem-solving card text in me, but those seemed like two very different keywords. Um, like, because you changed that description on some of the abilities, but not, like, King's Aura got changed to Limited, but not all of them. So, yeah, please fix that. Um, please fix that. That, uh, I, I could have been going a lot harder than I have been. Okay. 
now they're on that physical. So let's see about corrupt. Uh, hmm. Uh, will Kiss of Steel count? Probably, but we'll try it. Earth Lance, you. Mass Heal. Oh no, they only resist with that. They don't bounce it. Magical Reflections bounce it, but Physical just, like, gives them resistance. Got it. No, they were on Physical. Wait, what? Now they're on Magical. They were on Phys... Okay. Um... your blows. Now you're gonna bounce that back at me, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So that's how that works. So you need to guard for a turn. And then we're gonna make Altina's magic powerful enough to just bash the that one on its next turn. Okay, so it does that does count the Incubus Authority does count as magic. Good to know. Uh, Lust Renewal. Ordea Blows. Earth Lance. Holy Burst. And now they are on that magic timing. So, Orgy Blows. Guard for a turn. Mass Heal. Okay, that one's dead. Now we're on physical. Uh, try, not command. Incubus assault again. Orgy blows. Uh, try poison. Uh, hang on. You gotta combat masturbate your abilities back. Poison. Yeah, incubus assault. Combat masturbate. Poison. Shining Barrier. enough. Okay. Uh, formation. Are you ready? We probably won't be able to return. I believe I have everything. I'm going to take one last sweep though. Okay, I can't find anything. Um, I can't find anything, so... Oh. Fuck, I also went to refill my coffee and forgot to grab it. Okay. Let's go. We're here. I can feel the divinity in this place. This looks familiar. This looks like the fort where all of this shit started. Not Withering Mountain, um... The Wilds. Uh, this this map looks almost the same as the... The Wilds where Karina, uh, like, where Karina was added to the harem. Um, it, the Sound of Inevitable Death is the episode. It looks like that place. Uh, that, that was what I titled that episode. We're here. I feel the divinity in this place. There should be no traps in this place, but perhaps it'd be best to check instead of trusting me. 
Now, this place feels remarkably clear. This is the true sanctum the maze was protecting. In that case, Simon, perhaps you should go forward alone to meet Zelika. I'm still remembering that, like, I like you and I want to trust you. But I am, in fact, still uh, remembering that you said you would do, you would have done this shit on purpose. Not alone. I want to finally meet her after all this time. Just the two of us, then. Anything we need to know, Zestris? Honestly, just by just be yourself, and I'm sure Zelika will react warmly. We finally meet in person. Why are you... Oh, you're a tree. Why are you a tree? <sighs> Hello, Zelika. I'm trying to figure out your nature. You aren't literally that tree, but you're so interlinked. I was once more spirit than flesh, but Xerxes bound me to this place in order to extract energy from me. Now that you're here, I can finally be free, but not easily. So let's speak first. It's been a very long time. Okay. Thank you for the comfort you offered me while I was lost. Without you, I only wish I could have done more. I'm glad to see you doing so well. If I can take revenge for you, I will. I should thank you for your help in the Incubus prison as well, but we need to talk about that. No need to thank me. It was a pleasure. Those little fragments of sexuality made this place bearable. We probably know the answer, but I have to ask, do you know anything of the Anox plan? He didn't open his heart to me by any means. Yeah. I mean, he didn't even do that to Zestri uh, for Zestris, so, you know. Which is most definitely his crowning mistake in all of this. No. It was his second. What I can tell you is that he seemed increasingly weary, perhaps similar to Tertia, though with a different tone. Don't think of him as insane. He's convinced himself that the only way forward is drastic action, but he remains grimly rational. That's still insane. Like, he's thinking it through, but with, you're, you're suggesting he's thinking it through with too cynical a bent, but I still don't know why. So I am actually going to assume he is... Insane does not mean raving lunatic. Like, does not does not mean foaming at the mouth lunatic. It has many definitions. This is still a form of insanity until I until I hear his complete rationale, which he has very specifically refusing, refusing, refused to give. Yes, and but we can't know in detail what that is. Zestris knows more than I do about uh, uh, what they did with all the Theosins they extracted from me. And how do you see the current situation? Uh, I think she sees it as, I'm a fucking tree and I would like to not be a tree. <laughs> Xerxes and Hester are both operating on the highest level, mixing lust and purity in a highly artificial way. They'd have already won if not for Elanon. I wish we could have done something for him. Grandpa was totally capable of doing something for himself, and he actually did at the end, so there's that. But he could have stopped all of this fucking years ago. So could have Avala. Uh, but they both just stood by and watched. I don't consider them redeemed because they're doing something now. He gained enough strength to put him beyond my reach. I wonder if we'd been able to speak if things might have been different. But you were saying about artificiality? I'm not sure I understand why you'd frame it that way. Their goal was to transcend shards, not simple lust, but meta lust, you might consider it. By contrast, your wielding of shards and goddesses is a bit old-fashioned, though not weaker for it. You're the only ones left who can move the levers of reality enough to stop them. Hopefully with one more goddess on our side, soon. Though I confess, I'm not sure how we can possibly extract you. I played it my way. And then... I told one single lie. Are you ready for it? Here it comes! 
Oh, we can rely on the age-old na nature of shards for that. Simon, may I join your harem? Of course, Silica. You all right, Wendis? Now, I'm a bit too bark-like right now, but if you get started, I guarantee I'll soften. Wait, can Simon even do that right now? The spirit of Zelika appeared almost tangible before him, but as Simon removed his clothes, he still found himself stepping up to a physical tree. Her spiritual form brushed the side of his face, and he felt it uh, as an enticing tingle. She urged him closer, so he moved to examine the wooden body. Did foreplay make any sense with a tree-like body? Simon kissed the wooden lips and imparted as much of his power as he could. He almost thought he felt something kiss back, more flesh than wood, but it was gone the next moment. As Elica's spirit urged his hands up, he brushed his hands over the rough bark of her breast. To his surprise, his hands began to sink into them. Simon poured in more sexual energy. He can still access that? I mean, okay. Zelika, I can see him making an exception for... Uh, like, like, I can see his body making an exception for since she was his only source of sanity for a while, for the longest time. And his primal mind probably still remembers that. So, like, I guess, but this almost feels like I came here too early. Um, Simon poured in more sexual energy and her body continued to soften while he heard several cracks from deeper within the tree. Something wet began to flow from between the legs of Zelika's body, more sap than juices. Uh, Simon carefully eased his cock inside. He can still do that, though. As I'm, I'm a little shaky on this. Still exuding as much power as possible. It was uncomfortable at first, and it would have been painful for someone who wasn't an Incubus King, but as he got deeper, the tree began to shiver. The spirit had been brushing, uh, that had been brushing about his body flowed into the tree, the two forms overlapping and then merging. Instead of a flat wooden face, he saw Zelika's pale skin as she smiled. Her pussy clenched around him, now soft flesh instead of wood, and both of them sighed in satisfaction. Acting on instinct, Simon grasped her hips and pulled her partially out of the tree. More wood snapped as Zelika fell forward. Purple locks broke free from the stiff wooden hair as she uh, flowed against him. When Zelika's breasts pushed against his chest, he felt as though he was holding a woman, even though spiritual links still trailed back to the tree behind her. Faster, please. Zelika wrapped her legs around his waist, drawing his cock deeper inside. This may be difficult, but your passion won't hurt me. Tell me if there's anything else I need to do. Simon began thrusting gently inside her and slid his hands to her, si to her side and back. Just let me feel all your power. Claim me. If he had exerted himself towards the connections that bound her to the tree, he could have snapped them easily, but his instincts told him that would harm her. Even just thrusting inside her was making the tree twist and crack. She was still smiling inches from his face, but he knew she could endure great pain without any sign. Uncertain about the magic of it all, Simon decided simply to treat her as a woman. He drew on the memories of her power comforting him in the prison and did his best to offer that pleasure back in return. She eagerly rolled her hips over his cock, her inner walls clenching him tightly. Zelika wasn't shy about what she desired, either whispering demands into his ear or pulling his hands where she wanted them. Just as Simon started to relax and enjoy himself with a new partner, Zelika cried out in, in her first orgasm. She shuddered around him almost violently and collapsed against his chest. And Simon realized that something was wrong. Zelika, should this... He couldn't describe what he felt, but he knew her body was shuddering with more than pleasure. Bark was peeling away from the tree behind her, and her spiritual body wavered. Keep going. Zelika took a deep breath around her spiritual body and shuddered violently around him. Let me feel this. It's too early to pull you out. He tried to withdraw, but she locked tighter around him. No, Simon. It's far too late. I've been locked here for so long. My shard stretched so thin. My essence drained to the last dregs. You mean... I'm sorry, Simon, but there was never any hope of my survival. She placed her hands on either side of his head and stared directly into his eyes. I've been suffering for so long. Please just give me this. I've existed as a gaunt relic for long enough. Let me feel alive again. He didn't want to accept that conclusion, but the longing in her eyes convinced him. Simon wrapped his arms around her and clutched her to his chest. As he continued to move, Zelika sighed in pleasure and relaxed against him, her lips brushing his ear as she spoke. 
I know you want to change the world, but please remember you can't control everything. It hurts to accept, but there's always pain in life. Don't let go of that. If I had been stronger, could I have saved you? The more powerful you become, the more you realize there are always limits, Celica said gently. Don't mourn me. I'm finally at peace, and I'm glad to know that my shard can save you and your lovers the pain of parting. Simon kissed her forcefully and began thrusting with his full power. If Zelika was really passing on, he didn't want her last moments to be thinking about the nature of reality and the lives of others. Her words faded into moans of pleasure, and she began to focus on herself. Thank you, Simon. She breathed out the words and then cried out as she came. In that moment of pleasure, her body shattered, the tree sundering itself in her spiritual body, scattering into glimmering shards. And he was left standing alone, the last embers floating around him. They curled and his body, around his body one last time, then drifted to the... Alright, Zestris, you have five seconds to make your final decision. Because I'm going to rip that man into so many pieces that... I'm going to reduce him to atoms for that. Okay. I'm actually choked up a little. Because... I'm in a fight with anger and... That was actually really sad. And the sadness is kind of winning right now, but I'm sure the anger will come the next time I'm face to face with that prick. I am not okay with that. Delica. You knew, didn't you? I didn't see any possible way to free her, so when she asked for that... I am sorry that it came to that. If it's any comfort, I don't think she could have remained here without enduring great pain. It was what she wanted. I just wish it could have been different. And also, you need to firmly pick a side now. It seems she has left behind her shard. It has little strength, but as it restores itself over time, it should be enough for many of us. I wanted more shards, but I wish it hadn't been like... Yeah, not like this! I was just gonna, like, rip it out of the mother's still beating heart. And Apollo, if it came to it. Not the one other goddess that... The one other divine I had no problem with. Whatsoever. I definitely need this this track now because I'm using it for something specific later. Probably not related to this series, but I'm using this. I don't want to profane this place with too much talk of strategy. Let it be a memorial to her. Only if we can cut it away from the Anox domain. Simon. Is there anything else we need to do here? I require only seconds to make the changes needed to take down the barrier around Phylon. We can handle the magic and politics of that change from elsewhere. No, I know why I recognize this place. Isn't this the field in the prologue where the Anak and Zestris were? Like, at the end of the prologue when it was doing that cut? I 
think it is. Hold up. Zestris. You don't think she could have remained here without enduring great pain. You knew about her being here and in prison the whole time. So you knew she was suffering the entire time you were with the Anak, and you were just fine with that. That was totally kosher. Oh, we're going to have words about that. We're going to have words about that. Are you all right, Simon? No. Just thinking about everything she told me. Let me know when you want to discuss the distribution of her shard. I believe it can support eight of us. I'll come to you in time. Uh-huh. Okay. So. We have eight of these. Okay. That's quite a few. That, that That's a lot. With the succubi out of the way, then I, I've got plenty to assign. I need to... I actually need to think about this. I actually need to think about that. I'm very upset. Simon, I have a proposal. What is it? I'd like Zelika to be added to the official harem list. You really mean that? I couldn't do anything for her, so she's lost to us. But you did do something for her at the end. Comes down to this. She asked to join the harem. You accepted. I think she should count. I suppose she should. I hope it's what she would have wanted. She uh, stated very that she was enthusiastically stated she should. Uh, that 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 uh, she wanted that. I agree. Goddesses, goddesses, goddesses. Okay. 77.78. All right, non-combat build. Beloved memory. Abomination, but she's hot. <laughs> oh my god, the title. My name has been Rebellions. This has been The Last Sovereign. I will see you on the next one, where by then I'll probably have determined how I'm going to distribute things. I need a moment. <laughs>